NASA has made some fascinating discoveries over its decades-long existence, many of which have shown parts of space we never could have imagined existed. While these discoveries are in the hundreds, in this video we've compiled the top 20 discoveries by NASA that are sure to blow your mind. Let's get right into it, shall we? Saturn on steroids Saturn is one of the most notable planets in our solar system, having distinct ring features that are hard to miss whenever you take a look at all the planets in our solar system. But scientists recently discovered another planet outside of our solar system similar to Saturn, a planet we've called Saturn on steroids. Introducing J1407b, a supersized planet located about 434 light years away from Earth, having the most distinct planetary ring features of any planet astronomers have studied in the entire galaxy. This supersized planet is believed to be about 10 to 40 times the mass of Jupiter, making it thousands of times the mass of Earth. The most distinct feature of J1407b are its rings, having up to 30 rings spreading across millions of kilometers around the planet. A rough estimate of all the rings has it that they measure over 120 million kilometers around the planet, making them over 200 times as large as Saturn's rings. If this planet was located in our solar system, it would be the most visible feature in the night sky after the moon. Astronomers believe the planet is relatively young, as most planetary rings disappear over time as the planet and its satellites pull the rocks and moisture which make up the rings. Cosmic Microwave Background Scientists over at NASA have a rough estimate of how old the universe is. Astronomers have it that the Big Bang Theory, which exploded to create the universe, took place over 13.8 billion years ago. This is obviously a very long time ago, and finding any lights or debris from that pivotal moment in our universe's formation is extremely rare and difficult. But scientists recently discovered the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. This is a radiation of heat that dates back to about 400,000 years just after the Big Bang. Although CMB is not visible to the naked eye, it exists in every corner of the universe visible in the microwave part of the electromagnetic spectrum. CMB is the radiation that emanated from the Big Bang itself, and as it cooled over time, it created a heat signature, stamping itself in every corner of the known universe. Although it was discovered back in 1965 by researchers at the Bell Telephone Laboratory, scientists using the Planck satellite were only able to measure the radiation in 2013, giving us the best possible picture of the birth of our universe. Permanent Shoe Prints on the Moon 54 years is a long time for a footprint to be stamped on any surface without being swiftly removed by water, wind, or simply environmental factors. But that is how long a footprint from the last Apollo mission in 1972 has been on the moon. This may seem unlikely, but it's highly possible, because the moon is geologically dead, meaning there is no wind, no rains, no volcanoes, no earthquakes, or movement of any kind. All traces of water on the moon have been frozen in place for millions of years and would not be defrosting any time to wipe away any imprints on the lunar surface. Astronomers believe that the footprints left behind by the Apollo crew will still be there today in very much the same condition they were back in 1972 and will possibly still be there for as long as the moon exists. The only possible scenario is where the footprints might be distorted or if the moon is hit by asteroids or comets which might disturb the lunar surface. But other than that, those footprints will most likely outlive us all here on Earth. Underground Water on Enceladus Saturn has over 80 moons orbiting the planet, and NASA's Cassini spacecraft recently carried out a detailed study of one of Saturn's most promising moons, Enceladus. The spacecraft uncovered evidence that the moon might hold a large underground body of liquid water in just the right condition to harbor extraterrestrial microorganisms. During a 2005 flyby, Cassini observed what might be the presence of an interior reservoir of water as it observed water vapor and ice spewing out from an underground vent through the moon's south pole. Recent data have provided much-needed geological measurements of the moon's surface and found it consistent with the existence of a hidden underground ocean beneath the moon's surface. Measurements of the planet's gravity suggest the presence of a large underground ocean possibly 6 to 10 kilometers deep beneath a shell of ice about 19 to 25 kilometers thick. The presence of this subsurface ocean supports the theory of Enceladus 
being one of the few likely places in our solar system able to contain microbial life. Future missions have been planned to acquire samples of the dislodged water vapor for further testing. Titan's Lakes Enceladus isn't the only promising moon orbiting Saturn, as the planet's largest satellite, Titan, holds the promise of life as well. Scientists have reported evidence of the presence of lakes on the surface of Titan filled with liquid methane. Performing a flyby in 2006, the Cassini spacecraft provided radar imaging data that gave convincing evidence of large bodies of liquid on the surface of Titan. Analyzing the data using a false color radar view gave promising detail of several bodies of lakes filled with liquid methane. The radar image provided over 75 dark patches, ranging between 3 kilometers to more than 70 kilometers in length, possibly filled with liquid, ice, or some type of organic materials. These weather images prove that not only is Titan closer to Earth in mass, but it has several geological processes that are similar to those found on Earth. These processes work to generate methane, which evaporates into the atmosphere and is condensed and released back to the surface as methane rain. This rain builds into lakes and seas and forms river channels containing liquid methane and other chemical liquids, such as ethane, which doesn't evaporate easily. The evidence provides that the number of liquid hydrocarbons in just one of these methane-rich lakes is more than all the natural oil and gas reserves on Earth combined. Spherical Water in Space Water is a really dynamic substance, as it can exist in many different forms, either as a liquid, solid, or gas, and when put into a container, it takes the shape of whatever the container is. But these are all pretty standard occurrences here on Earth. But have you ever thought of how water works in space? Well, NASA has, and it's pretty cool to watch. On Earth, gravity pulls water molecules down into whatever shape of the container it is put in, but in space, water acts very differently. Every object in space is in a constant freefall, and water is no different. In space, water is weightless and is free to float around just like every other object, making for a really cool sight. In space, water takes on the shape of spheres, which is mainly due to the surface tension of water produced by the electromagnetic forces of its molecules, giving space water a sort of elastic property. Regardless of how big the quantity of water is, it will take on a spherical shape floating around in the weightlessness of space, which is really quite cool compared to ordinary Earth water. Kuiper Belt Spacecraft from Earth have taken several images of cosmic objects in and outside of our solar system. One of the most impressive images we've ever taken is the farthest image ever taken by a spacecraft. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, which was tasked with observing the mysterious planet of Pluto in 2015, embarked on a new mission after successfully observing the Blue Planet. The space probe was sent to observe the infamous Kuiper Belt, a space between Neptune's orbit which contains several rocky and gaseous materials known as Kuiper Belt objects, or simply KBOs. The probe did more than simply observe KBOs and broke records when it took the furthest image of any spacecraft by photographing a section of space called the Wishing Well. The Wishing Well is a star cluster over 3.79 billion miles away, which might not look like much in this photo, but considering the sheer distance alone, it's pretty impressive. The New Horizons space probe then broke its own record by taking the first ever close-ups of KBOs, giving scientists much-needed data to study these cosmic objects. First Exoplanet Weather Map Astronomers have been studying exoplanets since they were first discovered in 1917. Recent studies on two particular planets have provided very important data, which gives us a better understanding of the geothermal activities on these planets. Using NASA's Spitzer telescope, scientists have been studying the temperature variations of two gas giant exoplanets called HD 149026b and HD 189733b. Data from the Spitzer telescope indicated that surface temperatures on HD 18733b had hot searing winds comparable to solar winds in our solar system, while HD 1149026b was believed to be the hottest exoplanet ever discovered. In recent years, we were only able to determine the orbit and size of these exoplanets, but with the current data from infrared telescopes like Spitzer, Scientists are now able to deduce the temperature variations and even the chemical components on the surface of exoplanets. 
Infrared telescopes can record as many as 250,000 data points, which gives us a composite map of the geothermal composition and activities on distant exoplanets. The Recipe for Comet Soup If you've ever thought of what comets might be made of, well, congratulations, you're in luck, because thanks to NASA we now have a recipe for comet soup. NASA intentionally set its Deep Impact spacecraft on a collision course with the comet Temple 1 in July 2005. Upon making impact, the comet expelled a large cloud of materials that are believed to contain the stellar ingredients of our solar system's primordial soup. Collecting data from the impact coupled with observations by the Spitzer telescope, scientists were able to analyze and identify these ingredients, which eventually gave life to comets planets, and other bodies in our solar system. A lot of the ingredients identified were already known materials such as sand and other silicates. But then there were also other unexpected materials, which included carbonates which are found in seashells, clay, iron-bearing compounds, and some traces of aromatic hydrocarbons which are found in automobile exhaust and barbecue pits here on Earth. They were able to essentially develop a recipe for making comets in a controlled environment here on Earth, which is the first time we've ever been able to recreate any stellar material outside our planet. Aliens on Venus While the focus has been on Mars to potentially harbor life, recent evidence suggests the incredibly hot atmosphere of Venus potentially already contains life. A study in 2020 revealed the traces of phosphine gas in the Venusian atmosphere, which is interesting because phosphine is only created by microbes here on Earth and is not found anywhere else in the solar system. Could there possibly be life on Venus? Scientists are yet to deduce why phosphine is found in such large amounts in Venus's atmosphere. But one thing stands out which supports the theory of possible microbial life on the planet. The area in the atmosphere where the phosphine gas was found is located about 30 kilometers up in the planet's clouds and is the only place where temperatures are similar to Earth, ranging from 30 to 50 degrees Celsius. Venus is an extremely hot planet, with an average surface temperature reaching as high as 800 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. So finding phosphine gas in the only area of the atmosphere with mild temperatures is highly suspicious. Ice Volcanoes on a Dwarf Planet Scientists recently made a weird but incredible discovery while studying the dwarf planet Ceres. They discovered that the surface of the dwarf planet used to hold gigantic ice volcanoes that, you guessed it, erupt chunks of ice instead of hot boiling lava. These ice volcanoes are known as cryovolcanoes, found on icy planets and erupt frozen water or water vapor and mud. We already know that these cryovolcanoes existed on cold outer planets like Pluto, but scientists didn't know much else about how they behave. NASA's Dawn space probe found one such cryovolcano in 2015 called Ahuna Mons. The volcano was massive, spanning 2.5 miles high and 580 miles wide. A study of the volcano's composition revealed that Ahuna Mons was about 240 million years old, which is relatively young considering the host planet Ceres is over 4.5 billion years old. Ahuna Mons remains the most prominent cryovolcano found on the dwarf planet and remains a point of interest for scientists as it could hold clues to the properties and subterranean compositions of Ceres. First Alien Interstellar Asteroid our solar system has several asteroids and interstellar bodies that pass through each year, each originating from somewhere within our solar system, but none as weird and odd as the asteroid Oumuamua. In 2018, the PanStars-1 telescope in Hawaii observed a strange-shaped object wading through our solar system at incredible speed. The object turned out to be an asteroid from beyond our solar system and had somehow drifted into our region of space, but that wasn't the weird part. Originally thinking the asteroid had originated from within our solar system, astronomers quickly deduced that it came from interstellar space, making it the first such asteroid to enter our solar system. The rocky asteroid had a very long and peculiar cigar shape that almost seems like it was aerodynamically designed for spaceflight. It presented with a dark reddish color resulting from millions of years of exposure traveling the hot and radiative regions of interstellar space. The shape of the asteroid has never been seen by astronomers, measuring 10 times as long as its width. 
With other asteroids in our solar system, they never exceed three times the length of their width. This is because as the asteroid spins, they tend to take on a spherical shape, but Oumuamua doesn't play by those rules. This has led some scientists to speculate that it could be some form of an alien-designed object originating from the Lyra constellation. Another weird aspect of the asteroid is that even moving at over 85,000 miles per hour, it appears to be accelerating, further supporting the alien object theory. Solar Storms Solar storms originating from the Sun's surface have always merely been a theory by scientists, seeing as how all life on Earth would be wiped out if any such flares were to reach us. But scientists detected a massive solar storm erupting from the Sun's surface in 2021 called a Coronal Mass Ejection, or CME. This particular CME sent millions of tons of heated gas flying into the solar system. But why didn't we feel anything here on Earth? Well, the answer is the magnetic field that surrounds our planets acts as a selective field, shielding us from being wiped out by intense heat and radiation. But although our magnetic field protects us from direct contact with CMEs, they can trigger all kinds of geomagnetic storms, which can affect all kinds of communications here on Earth. These CMEs can jam airline signals, disrupt radio communications, affect our power grids, and in extreme situations, knock satellites off course. Although these might all seem frightening, it's a small price to pay to avoid being evaporated by radiation from our very own sun. Water on Mars Mars has been the most widely referred candidate for humans' first interplanetary mission. Being a terrestrial planet with rocks and mountain formations similar to Earth, Mars is prime for colonization. But the downside is, there is basically zero oxygen in the atmosphere, and the planet's surface has no water sources to sustain life. Or so we thought. In 2018, data from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter discovered that streaks of flowing water were and may still be present on the surface of the Red Planet. This was confirmed by the discovery of hydrated salt in certain slopes and craters on the planet's surface. This discovery was supported by the observation of ice at the polar caps of Mars. It is believed that water reaches the poles as vapor swept there by wind, where it then freezes into thick deposits. The discovery of ice on the planet's surface means the planet may not only be suited for colonization, but could be made habitable with the introduction of algae and other oxygen-generating plants. The Largest Supermassive Black Hole Black holes have been the most mysterious bodies in the solar system, mainly because scientists are unable to study anything beyond the event horizon where even light is unable to escape. Black holes form when a star dies and collapses into its core. There are black holes of varying sizes observed all over the universe. The scientists recently discovered the largest black hole ever observed in the known universe, called Tun 618. This supermassive black hole measures over 66 billion solar masses, making it larger than our entire solar system. Located some 18.2 billion light years away from Earth, it's known to be one of the brightest cosmic objects in the universe and one of the oldest black holes as well. Taking over 11 billion years for its light to reach Earth, this supermassive black hole was already this big during the early stages of the universe and is believed to have consumed much of the early forming stars in its galaxy. New Moons Around Jupiter Astronomers have been studying the stars for thousands of years, and today certified scientists make discoveries by analyzing data from space. But a recent discovery was made in 2021 by an amateur astronomer named Kai Lee, who was studying Jupiter's orbit only to discover an entirely new moon orbiting the planet. Jupiter already has over 80 moons, but this new moon, named S2003J24, is the first planetary moon to ever be discovered by an amateur astronomer. The moon had initially been thought to have been nothing but a space rock, and NASA had even taken pictures of it back in 2003. But we can't blame NASA for not categorizing it as a moon earlier. The moon wasn't easy to find, as it was surrounded by a cluster of over two dozen space rocks called the Kami Group. Kylie spent several years studying telescope imagery until he was certain of his discovery before making his findings public. Black Holes as Alien Powerhouses The Sun is the major source of energy for life on Earth, but it's been discovered that black holes could do the same for aliens as well. 
Back in 1960, a geophysicist named Freeman Dyson postulated that if an advanced civilization reached the point where they needed more energy than their planet could provide, they could harness energy from their host star using what he called a Dyson Sphere. This Dyson Sphere would be a mega structure of planetary size that would consist of stationary or orbiting satellites, which would turn solar energy into usable energy. While this was all hypothetical, scientists over at NASA tested the theory of Dyson Sphere being used around a black hole. The team of researchers studied how the sphere would interact and harness power from the black hole. And after observing several black holes in our galaxy, they discovered that a Dyson Sphere could indeed harness energy from a black hole and millions of times more energy than any star could provide. They deduced that a Dyson Sphere situated around a black hole of 20 solar masses could harness more power than 100,000 average stars put together. This is still all hypothetical and the human race is nowhere near being able to build a Dyson Sphere, but you know who could? An alien civilization somewhere out there in the universe. Just saying. Ultima Thule Most objects in the known universe take on a fairly round and spherical shape due to the constant spinning motion there, but not Ultima Thule. Ultima Thule is a peculiar celestial body spinning in space at a distance of 4 billion miles away from Earth. It appears to be a single solid body consisting of two round objects of unknown composition fused together. NASA recently released the first composite image of Ultima Thule as photographed by the New Horizons spacecraft. The spacecraft was able to get within 2,200 miles of the celestial body, taking first-hand data on this object. Scientists were then able to deduce that both bodies making up Ultima Thule had the same color and surface composition, meaning that they both originated from the same source and didn't simply fuse in space from different origins. The data also showed that despite Ultima Thule being over 23 miles long, it doesn't have an atmosphere and its gravitational pull is too weak to pull in other objects. Ultima Thule resides in the Kuiper Belt, otherwise known to astronomers as the Twilight Zone, and will continue to be observed by the New Horizons spacecraft until it leaves the region. The Heliosphere Our solar system is indeed a unique place, considering the large amounts of supernovas, interstellar radiation, and space objects moving through space at incredible speeds. It is no coincidence that we are protected from much of it. This is all thanks to a protective layer of solar wind that shields our solar system, known as the heliosphere. The heliosphere is an invisible protective bubble maintained by massive solar winds emanating from the sun, which acts as a field pushing against the violent cosmic rays and interstellar radiation that flow through every part of the universe. The heliosphere had always been a theory, but scientists recently discovered evidence of its existence thanks to the Voyager 1 space probe, which crossed this boundary of space sometime in 2012. Data from the space probe indicated it crossed into a region of interstellar space where solar winds could no longer reach and high amounts of cosmic rays were detected. Voyager 1 is the first man-made object to cross the heliosphere into interstellar space, giving us a glimpse of what space outside the protective bubble of the heliosphere is like. 7 Earth-sized planets orbiting a star Earth is a very unique planet being just the right size, located at just the right distance from the Sun and able to support life with the presence of water. So it's extremely difficult to find other Earth-like exoplanets in the universe. But that might not be the case. NASA recently discovered not one, but seven exoplanets with a similar size and mass to Earth, all orbiting a star known as TRAPPIST-1. Scientists have been studying the TRAPPIST-1 star system for well over 500 watch hours using the Spitzer telescope in order to confirm the number of exoplanets orbiting the star. Using the telescope's infrared equipment, they were able to determine that the star is much cooler than our Sun and that the dips in the star's lights were actually seven exoplanets of similar sizes orbiting it. Exoplanets with a similar size to Earth have been discovered before, but never in this number and not in the same star system. This batch of exoplanets are not only similar to Earth, but the star system itself is a lot similar to our solar system as three of the planets reside within the habitable zone of the host star. This means temperature levels on the three planets may very well allow for the formation of liquid water on their surfaces, which also means they may very well be capable of supporting life. With the help of Spitzer, 
Scientists will be able to study the mass and even the compositions of these exoplanets to determine if they are indeed suitable enough to sustain life. What do you think NASA will discover next? Aliens? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.